What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're gonna be taking a look at everything I picked up this week. Get ready for Heels Hauls. Man, there has been a couple things that I've been on the hunt for quite some time. And this week, I was able to check quite a few of them off the list. I'm excited about this one. So here we go. First off, a lot of people probably don't care about this, right? This is the Pocket Pop 14-Day Countdown Calendar. Um, it is small miniature Funko Pops inside this uh, Advent Calendar. I don't know when I'm going to do it. But I have been wanting this for quite some time. I've just been waiting for it to go on sale. And this week on Amazon, it finally went on sale. So I absolutely had to pick it up. Um, I'm kind of curious if China's in box four, Jerry's in eight, and uh, Brett's in ten. We'll find out when we open it. But I don't know. I might save this for uh, Christmas. I think that could be fun. We did the uh, Home Alone advent calendar last year on the uh, TikTok, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll save this for Christmas time, have a little fun with it, daily videos and such like that. Next up, my man, Toy Addict 316 on Instagram. Nick, pick this up for me. I've been on the hunt for this CM Punk Luminaries uh, Series 8 figure for quite some time. Easily sells out, but finally we have it. I hate the stitching right there. It looks really weird, but, it, you know, I guess it's a necessary evil. He's got the uh, skull and crossbones on there, the taped hands, which I love, the yellow um, shorts, the basketball shorts with punk on them, and a decent likeness for, um, you know, being a full sculpt. It's not great, but he does have that Ring of Honor microphone. Classic punk right there on the back. Love to see it, right? He's got the Pepsi tat right there. Hmm. Very cool, though. Very happy with this one. Can close the book on Series 8 now. Finally! And I'm not going to say The Rock has come back, but... CM Punk! Pretty cool that we were able to get this uh, throwback CM Punk before he came back to WWE. Also picked up this from Amazon. Elite Series 108 Brock Lesnar ordered it at night, and the very next morning it showed up at my house. Uh, he's got the modern day shorts, the black with the uh, the skull logos, the Lesnar gloves. He's doing that Lesnar pose in the package, which is probably exactly how I'll pose him. I love that acid wash denim jacket he has on, all of his tattoos, the wide mouth screaming tongue visible uh, head scan, I guess you'd call it. And that old JR hat right there. Looks great though, I'm super excited about this. I love this incarnation of Brock, however, I'm wondering if this is going to be the last Brock Lesnar Elite because of all the controversy and the scandal going on. Um, only time will tell uh, what's going on with him in that, but it appears he's back in the good graces of WWE. Brock Lesnar, 6'3", 286 pounds, finishers the F5. The Beast Incarnate prepared to take on his biggest challenge, a 7-foot, 3-inch giant Omos at WrestleMania 39. And in this set is Brock, LA Knight, Bronson Reed, Omos, Chelsea Green, who is the chase, and Terry Gordy. I have LA, Chel three Chelsea's coming, and Terry Gordy. So hopefully they're at least minty, because I'm opening this one, but man, did he come beat to hell. And next up, I have been on the hunt for this for so long. I pre-ordered it twice from Walmart.com. Both times got canceled. It's got the first time in the line, High Chief Peter Maivia, which was the biggest one for me because I love first time in the line figures. But check out the tattoos, the leg tats going all the way up his waist. Just looks really nice. He's got the lay there. Great lightness on him as well. Um, he's got the crown, interchangeable hands. I love those open hands though on him. Bare feet, of course. We got Penny Loafer Rock right there, which I can't believe we got a whole new foot mold uh, for this figure, which is pretty impressive. He's got all the jewelry, the watch, the bracelet, those khakis, the shirt, the necklace, the gold glasses. A lot of people saying that they don't really 
like this rock and, and it's such a waste, but like, what did you want? Would you have preferred another re-release of the same old trunks with the same old Brahma bull? No, I want this. I remember this gear. Oh, not gear. I remember this outfit and the, and the pictures that it was used for and always in the magazines and stuff. Like I wanted this rock even before it was announced. We got Rocky Johnson here, yellow trunks, Rocky, better skin tone, looks so much better. The tattoos, chest hair, look at that. The side lacing on the boots, which is nice. And of course his entrance robe, love the packaging, right? It's separated into thirds and each one is a different type of packaging um, uh, design, which is really cool. Interesting enough though, is that they're not real pictures of them. I'm wondering if they didn't have real pictures that they could use of Peter Maivia. So they went the route of using the action figure, which is not my favorite because that's what uh, Powertown does, does, but it is what it is. Hi, Chief Peter Maivia. The Maivia family legacy is one of the most celebrated bloodlines in the business. Its roots trace back to WWE Hall of Famer Peter Maivia, the High Chief, dominated the West Coast in the 1970s, ran the popular Hawaiian territory, and created a legacy still celebrated today by his Samoan descendants. Rocky Johnson, which I love that they all have like their own little name plaque thing. Uh, Peter Maivia's son-in-law, Rocky Johnson, was every bit as flashy as High Chief was tough. His combination of quickness and charisma captured the hearts of fans around the world, leading to a thunderous rapture when the Soul Man and his partner Tony Atlas became the first African-American tag team champions in WWE history. Will be nice to get a Tony Atlas in the line. The Rock, the shining star in the Maivia legacy, is without a doubt the most electrifying man in sports and entertainment, The Rock. Though entering WWE as Rocky Maivia in honor of his grandfather and his father, soon the Great One paved a path of his own reaching greater heights than perhaps any superstar ever. And that is a fact. The biggest movie star right now is The Rock. No other wrestler has ever had that claim to fame, but we are not done. Last but not least, down here, something I've been waiting to take a look at. Finally got mine in. The AEW Collect Forever Slabbed Figures. Now, very controversial, and I was a little iffy on these. But now that I've bought them and they've come in, I love them. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying that, but I love them. Uh, I really didn't even want to buy them. I'm glad that I did. Slabbed and very beautiful. They do not just say uncirculated on them. All right, has information, 2023 Jazz Wears All Elite Wrestling on Rival Collection, Collect Forever Exclusive Series, number one, CM Punk, limited edition, one of 1,000. And over here, it has a little QR code on both of them. When you scan that QR code, it goes to the Uncirculation Authority website, and it has each figure catalog, and I mean each figure, all 1,000. So. When I scan that code, it goes to a picture of mine in the condition that it was sent to me in, which is very, very cool. Uh, yes, this is essentially a re-release, right? Um, slightly, slightly different, but I consider re-release, but I think it's such a cool idea. These are by Upper Deck, and they're wearing the gear on their first Upper Deck card. I love that. I think it's a great gimmick. So now I'm all in after seeing these and how nice they are. This one has a little glue string in there, which bothers me a little bit, but this one is like a complete re-release thing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It matches his cards. So I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. So comment below. Let me know your favorite thing I picked up this week and your favorite thing you picked up this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me. Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia now on Amazon.com or simply go to HeelBooks.com. Join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com and get $15 off your purchase. And check out my new podcast with Fig Vault, the Case Fresh Podcast, anywhere that you listen to podcasts and follow us at Case Fresh Pod. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for joining me. Fig Heel is out. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. 
featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.